Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to scrape a web page and store the data on a Google Sheet. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you just the basics of scraping, and we're going to use reg expressions to do that. So I'll go and demonstrate this. Here I got a table, which is the Premier League Soccer League here, and I'm scraping the Premier League web page here, Premier League tables here. So here I got this, and this is the current standings as of today, the top 20 teams here in the, in the Premier League. And I'm scraping the name here, the position, and even the logo here. And I'm going to put that in a Google Sheet right here. So if I go in here in my app script here, I got my function here, which I could call run. And what it's going to do is it's going to clear out everything that was there. And then it's going to go to the web page, bring in what is current as of today. So it populates the sheet, pulling that data from the web page here. So I'll go through a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I'm on my new Google spreadsheet. I'm going to give it a name. Scrape websites. And I'm going to give my sheet a name down here. I'm going to change the name to table. I'm also going to reference that a lot in the code here, this table here. And that's it for the sheet. Next I'm going to go to my Google Apps script. I'm going to rename my project name here. Hit rename and I'm going to copy in my Google Apps script code. There I have that copied. I'm going to hit save. Next I'm going to go through the code. So I got my main function here and this runs everything. So this is what I just call as I'm running it. First statement is to clear the record. So if I go down here to clear records function down here, what I'm doing is declaring my spreadsheet. I'm declaring my sheet table name, table. And I'm clearing out the range of A1 and D20. I know there's going to be 20 Premier League teams, so I only have to go 20 rows down. And I'm populating data over to the D column. So I'm clearing all the data out right there. And then my second part of this is I'm grabbing all the images of the sheet. And I am removing them as well. So every time I refresh this, I want to, I want to clear out what's been there and refresh the data with the new every time I run it. So that takes care of the clear records. The next thing I'm doing is I, I got my URL here of Premier League and that goes right from here with the tables here. And this is the data that I am scraping off. So then I go back over here, I'm doing a URL fetch app fetch URL and get content text. And basically what that's doing is if I right click on this page and click view page source, I am pulling back this data right here. It's grabbing this data, the string part of this, and going through, looking, and pulling that all back. My next statement is my main reg expression statement. And what I'm doing is I'm going through all that data, and I'm looking at for class team and scope of row, starting with a TD tag, which is a row tag, and ending in a TD tag. And then this is saying I want all the information in the in between these tags. And I'm taking this as the expression, which I'm declaring, and I'm putting this into a match. So I'm taking my string, which was the main string, all that source code came back. I'm doing a match, and I'm populating my this this statement here right here and that's going to return back an array of what it found so every time it finds this row of class and team of scope row it's going to store that on array so again if i just take this this right here this part and i go over to my source and i right click or just hit control f there and there it found the first one here manchester city 
So this is what I'm, I'm looking for is these tags right here, this section of data. So I'm gonna pull this section out and then from there, I'm gonna go through it. Oh, that's the image there. From there, I'm gonna go more into it. Again, I'm gonna pull this URL out here. This is what I'm finding right here. That's gonna be my logo. And then I'm pulling out Manchester City, the actual team name here. So I'm gonna go back over here. So this gives me my main array of the TD tags. So then I do a for loop through each one of those results. So here's my results and I got my content here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take out the add row here, I'm gonna save it, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and run it because I'm gonna I'm show out the log output of what, what I'm going through here to kind of simply explain that. So I'm gonna hit run, it's gonna send me through some permissions. And we're gonna review the permissions. I'm gonna select my accounts hit advanced, I'm gonna hit go to scrape web page, and I'm gonna hit allow. So that's gonna come through and it's gonna sh display everything that I logged out here. So, so this is my first statement here. Again, this is my main result, my rain reg express, is I'm pulling this right here, this data here. So from there, I wanna get Manchester City down here. So then I'm going to do two passes. The first pass, and this is a reg expression here. I'm looking for the TD long here, and that ends with a span right here. And I'm going to pull all the information out. So again, I'm, I'm pulling this statement out here. So down here, I'm taking my results. I'm doing that first pass of team right here. Again, another match. It's going to pull back an array. And I'm going to pull the first, what I find in that array so this array is it always returns an array back even though if it's one thing or ten things so i know it's only going to pull one thing back so i'm just going to look at zero the first value and i log that so this is what it logs next here so i'm going to take that value the the team one name string and i'm going to do a second pass through it so this is my second reg express up here so I skipped by it here, this one. So again, this statement says I'm going to look behind this span long here and I'm going to look ahead of the span. So I'm going to look in between here. I'm not going to pull, but I don't want the span. So I want just like right here. So this, this command says look behind, this says look ahead. And then that's where I'm getting my Manchester City, my actual name on my second pass. So again, my second pass is here, doing a match, pulling back the first value, and displaying it here. So that is actually my team name. Now to get the logo, my logo pass here is I'm looking behind the class badge image, badge image 25, SRC, and then the quote. And then my, I'm looking ahead of the closing, the next quote behind that. And I'm getting everything in between. So if I go down here, and that's where I'm getting, again, if I go up to my main statement, so I'm looking at this image class, looking at all that, and I'll look behind that to the ending quote, and that comes out to be my, my URL down here of the logo. So I only have to do one pass for that. I'm displaying that and then I'm passing it to my ad record down below here. Now there's a tool I use that really helps me out. There's a really good tool here. So if I copy this span, I'll just use an example here. I go up here. Well, I got it up here now. But if you use this regx101.com, I will put that in the description of the video. Also, I'll supply this code as well in the comment section below the video. But you can put your string right here and then use your expressions here to see how you can get that to come out and find what you need. Again, lots of documentation down here on the bottom right where you can find all the expressions, even the common ones. It's a good tool to learn and figure out which commands you need. And, uh, and then up here you select JavaScript 
because that's I guess there's different types of reg expressions depending on which code you're using but we're using the JavaScript version of it so and then it follows up to my add record which this is a basic Google Apps script for Google Sheets I go down here at the bottom and then uh, what I'm doing here again I'm passing the count uh, the count is I'm doing plus one. I'm starting at zero, but I'm doing the ranking. So I'm just going to do one, being the first. And I also should note that I'm doing just 20 on my main thing. It does find more. And the reason it finds more, again, over here, is it has these PL2 and U. So each team has another division. So team is marked all the way through the source code. It's picking up these teams and it's also picking up these teams. But since this is the first page that comes up and this is the first row and I know 20 teams are in the Premier League, I'm just doing the first 20 to pull out what I want. So that is why that 20 is populated there. Back to my add row, I'm putting the count, which is my ranking, my team and my logo, which is the URL of my logo, declaring my spreadsheet the sheet name of table. I'm grabbing the current row, which is the last row. Last row, it's looking for the last row that was populated. Then I'm grabbing the next row, which would be the first blank row. And then I'm populating here. The first row, I'm, first thing I'm doing is setting the row height, giving it a little more height to fit the logo. I'm setting that to 30 pixels. And then uh, the table sheet, I'm setting the ranking on the first column on the next row here and then my logo is inserted on the second column using the next row as well and the logo is my URL insert image is a command here that inserts that image and then the last two things is my team name and date of when I populated it again those are populated in columns three and four so that is it for uh, scraping this website. I'm going to hit save here since I uncommented out my ad record and then I can run it. Go up here. I'm going to run the main function. So go run. It's going to go through and then over here it's going to populate the teams as we're going through. So again, I use the Premier League website as just my test here. I do follow the Premier League. I actually follow Chelsea football club if you would like leave your favorite soccer club team in the comments below the video i'd like to know which teams you follow around the world that concludes this video you can leave also questions or comments about this video as well until next time